All right, you guys in capes. Uh, yeah, we totally screwed that all up. No, they're no? sneaky rogues as well. Sneaky rogues? Yeah. Yeah. We're here. Yeah, just you, you joined us. Yeah, hi. You joined Entertain the Geeky. Hi. What's going on, guys? So, guys, yeah, we're, we're just hanging out. Hanging talking. Out. Gonna, gonna, gonna say hello. This is what we're gonna try to do is, uh, when we do one of our episodes, we're gonna try to live cast it, see how it goes. If, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a noob at editing video. If any of you want to tutorial me volunteer your services i yeah. mean chris pays very well in um hand drivers. yeah straight up uh, so for all you that are not watching but listening we apologize you're gonna miss some of the visual jokes <laughs> 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 so, so oh, oh my no on. you you no, no, please you're the host I'm so are you no i just i just sit here and look pretty that's it? That's it. That's all I do. Well, no, I thought you had something profound to say there, and now I forgot I, what I was going to say. I was just going to tell everyone about March 25th at mm. Game Haven. Okay, go on. Yeah, so March 25th, Game Haven. Uh, the address has been mentioned numerous times, but we're going to leave a link below this video and everything else. Um, we are having the new Battle Royale. You know? It's called Age of Heroes 2. Now, there's a little bit of a thing going on here so it's five dollars which gets you into the venue into the venue you to play, play games all day um if you want to do a tournament each tournament has a buy-in yeah they've got we've got four scheduled right now we've got two smash brothers um, um ultimate marvel versus capcom yep. three tournaments scheduled everything's good to go there so it, and there, there's gonna be more individual tournaments yeah if you guys show up and you got like five guys are like hey i'll kick your ass in mortal Kombat, fucking Put some, put your money where your mouth is, and play some Mortal Kombat tournament. You'll be winning money, like at least one whole dollar. Tens of dollars. I mean, that's how much we make. Yeah. Tens of dollars. Tens of dollars. So, big news. Like we we we've been talking all night about stuff. Um, I I want to do a D and D game. Yeah. Um, I I think that uh, it's time to to do a do a good D and D game, Chris. What? What would you want to see in your D&D game? Like, to you, you sit down to play D&D, what makes your D&D game fun? Players actually getting into their character. Okay. As long as everybody's becoming immersed in this D&D world that you're in, that's what's important for me. Um, and that's what that's what makes for the best D&D experience, is when everybody's in it, engaged, excited. Uh, really being in character there is... So for you... It. So for you, it's more about the character, the story, and, and, and all that stuff is kind of secondary? No, 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 no. The story is a big part of it. You, if you have a shitty story, uh, the people aren't going to be as in character. Right, but what do you, Okay, so then what do you look forward to in a, in a story when it comes to D&D? Well, okay, uh, are you so, looking for more like Game of Thrones political or like that kind of action-y... I like the action ones. You like the action um, ones? No, I've, I've never really played a political campaign, though. Really? Yeah. Oh. So that could be fun. Like I'm not. I'm not saying I wouldn't do that, but that's not something that I have done uh, at this point. So. Hey, you know what else? I'm gonna run the shit out of this game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. D&D well, five. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely fifth edition. I really want to run a fifth edition game. I think. I think right now, I think the good plan would be for it to be me, you, and the boys. Yeah. And go from there and see what happens. We'll keep you, you know, we'll just do a little videos and some, some, some recordings here and there. Let you guys peek behind the curtain a little bit. Let you in on our world. Um, do we want to announce, do we want to make our big announcement right now? Do Shoot. We, do we wanna? Yeah. So, hey, everyone out there, uh, guess what? Entertain the Geeky is going to have a presence at a big convention. Um, Chris, Chris, what, what convention is that? Uh, it's it, it's not that big. It's something called Wizard World Comic Con. Uh, Ch Chicago, right? Chicago Wizard Chicago World. Chicago Wizard World, August twenty fourth through the twenty seventh. We're gonna have a 20, booth. Twenty third through the twenty seventh. Is it? I think. Oh yeah, yeah it's Thursday. a four day event. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, four days. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have a big. Uh, we're gonna have a booth. We're gonna sell our games. Chris and I will be there. The Game Boys are gonna be there. Um, shirts, shirts, merch, swag, the whole kit and caboodle. So. Fucking, if you guys want to come out, let us know. Hit us up. Come by the booth. Say hi. Yeah, really? We just want to chill with you there. Like, like we're going to pimp, we're going to pimp this out because we got months. We're debating, uh, we're, we're going to, we're going to talk about this a little bit more. Think about maybe we're getting, having a, an entourage. Yeah. You know, you guys come out, just roll with us, protect us, you know, surround us as we walk through the floor. Now the, the thing that I don't know about that. So we have our, 
are basically our passes for our staff. Yeah. And uh, we can, you know, I can I can get our staff in for yeah. our, our our table fee basically. We hope. Um, I don't know if uh, you know how how tickets for all you guys would work out. That's something again we have to explore it a little bit. But we do want uh, a lot of a lot of our people to be there. Come hang huh. out. Just Make sure you see us, us. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be good times. Don't don't spit on us, please. I mean, you can just call me a dirty boy when you do it. That's really all I'm saying. <laughs> just call me dirty boy. I'll I'll be fine with that. You can just call me Chris. That's his name. Yeah, that's what I would pre- I would prefer that, but you know it's up to you. So, let me ask you a question, Chris. Yeah. If you could, if so, so well, let's stick with the game theme. Yeah. If you could run a game. Mm-hmm. In your mind, what game would be the perfect game for you to run? I want to do Iron Kingdoms Unleashed so bad. So, like, okay, what what the what the fuck is Iron Kingdoms Unleashed? So, uh, Iron Kingdoms is the Iron Kingdom uh, Iron Kingdoms world. Um, Unleashed is their backwoods bayou uh, version of the game. What the fuck is Iron Kingdoms? Iron Kingdoms, it's a uh, so it's D six system. Okay. Okay. Everything's done with D six. Um, it is. Character placement is a big part of your motivation in interactions. So you do need a map and a token or a mini to, uh, you know, to be your character, basically. Yeah. And you you just fight. You're there to kill shit. Uh, and so how does this work as a role-playing game, Like, So in Unleashed, and we've got some noise in the background here. Um, in Unleashed, there is a... Uh, you're, you're basically, you're the dirty... Hillbillies. Like Deliverance Hillbillies? Okay. Like, am I playing banjos? Yeah. I'm not fucking that baby. You don't have to. Okay. But I'm you might eat clear. him. You might kill him and eat him. Am I cannibal? Oh, yeah. Dude! Oh, shit. Uh, so, 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 you know how much we bitch about Walking Dead, yeah. the TV show? Court and I are, are finally deciding to catch up on this. Okay. And the reason, the reason I just thought of cannibals was, I just got to the episode where, where they're eating, where they, where they cut off Bob's leg. Hi, Dad. <laughs> where, 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 where they're eating Bob's leg, and he's like screaming "tainted meat." Fuck me, it's so gross. <gasps> yeah, and then like three episodes later, they they stumble across his leg over the barbecue pit. That's hysterical. Like, it's just sitting there, his fucking half-eaten leg. Gross. Ah, yeah. The show's still not. But that, it, that that that's what you would run into. So like, that's the type of thing that uh, Walking Dead or any post-apocalyptic movie should should be doing. Yeah. Because yeah. you would have yeah. cannibalism. Most of the meat out there is going to be spoiled, or food would be extremely scarce at that. So well, if you have a person that you can eat... Why, why wouldn't you eat them? Yeah, just would, eat them. So, which leads to our first Facebook question of the day. Would you guys eat people to survive if you had to? I mean, we've seen it happen I, You know, I'll tell you what, I know Mike, Mike Broder would. Mike, Mike Broder definitely would He said he has a, he, he's got a group of people who he would let live, and then everybody else is food. Yeah, no, like, like, we sat there and talked about it at, at O'Toole's wedding. Yeah. Like, how he would choose which person to eat, and then... Your wife how he'd says, cook hell them. no. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then how, how he would cook them. Like, he has... Mike Burdor has recipes. He's like, no, I'd make a nice stew or a souffle. Um, like, see, see... Depending on age. Not, to me, to me, that's where you get a little too... I'm looking forward to the end of the world. Yeah. Is, is when you have a cookbook... For human flesh, and, and you know the worst part is, I want to know if he downloaded a cookbook offline. If he was like, cookbook oh no, book for cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike Burdard, like, like the worst part is, he's he's telling the story and he's looking at me and he's like, yeah, you know, like bacon. You would make good bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stew would be the way to so, go. So Courtney says that stew, like you're going to eat human stew. That seems fair. You know what would gross me out about that? What's that? I could get over eating the meat there. Okay, eating the eating the flesh of a human there. It in would, stew? It would be more so the fact that it's marinated in here's, human death. Well, here's my problem, okay? If you're eating human stew, yeah. that means you obviously have other food to eat. Because you've made a stew, which means you've got potatoes, carrots. You don't need to be eating humans at this point. You could be a vegetarian. You don't need, you don't need the human meat. 
I use a nice chicken base for my human stew. <laughs> like, like you're just pouring in like like the beef broth to make the human stew. Oh my god! Why don't they have this in the Walking Dead comics? That, that's that's actually that's what they need to address next. Is it? Yeah. Well, now they have uh, protein. protein. Hey, you get protein from a lot of vegetables. Actually, vegan is the way to go. Vegan, says my dad. Vegan is not. No. No, we like meat here. Though, so we got pizza tonight. And all I ate was cheese. I ate uh, one slice of pepperoni, a couple slices of cheese. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm so sick of bread. How we, can you we, be sick of bread? We had this conversation earlier. All I want is meat and potatoes right now. Or not meat and potatoes, but meat and vegetables. So, like, today, Tara was asking me about lunch. She's like, what do you want to do for lunch? And uh, you can get enough from veggies. Do your research. <laughs> Quinoa is a magic food. But you can't get quinoa in the post-apocalypse. Listen. Where the I'm fuck talking, are you going to get quinoa? I'm just talking about vegetarianism. I'm not talking about this cannibalistic world that we live in. Oh no! If 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 we're still talking about going <laughs> vegetarian, like like you need you do need protein. I mean, you can get it from other sources. Like what? It's the end of the world. Like Daryl was eating worms. There you go. Protein. Protein. Worm. I would just go fishing, a lot, and hunt. It. If human oh, okay, so if human flesh. Man, this conversation. This is, is so <laughs> fucked. Up. This is this is actually one better. Okay, so how? God, would you? So here's my question though: Would you get a group of people? Like, would you go the micro door route, which is I have a group of people. And These I, people are for fellowship. These people, people are, are for, for eating. Yeah, like, would you do that, or would you do the standard? Uh, you're my group, and we just kill other people and eat them. Everybody else's food. Yeah, everyone else. I would. Uh, I would have my group. Her mindset's not right. Yeah, I would. I would have my group. And then outside of that would be for eating. We're going to get arrested, my probably, dad says. Probably. We're not eating anybody right now, Father. Maybe later. So so, so outside your group? Outside my group would be acceptable for eating. Okay. But your group is your group. Group is your group. Now, what if, what if, like, what if there's no one else to eat? Like, do you just start picking off your group? I don't know. I haven't had to cross this bridge. Well, we're there now. Okay, so then, somehow we then have it, stumbled then it, then upon gonna, this. Then it's going to turn into politics within the group, uh, and you know that. Obviously, yeah, because no, they're going to be like, "Oh, Timmy over there can't." Timmy lift. ain't more fucking pudding than than Jill, <laughs> and he and he can't even he can't even lift heavy yeah. things. What does he do? What does he do to the group? Is he, he's, like, like, he's for eating. <laughs> <laughs> like, so what you do is you're like you get a guy like you get the fat guy like me, just keep me fat for when you have to slaughter somebody. <laughs> it's like Roger, you've eaten way more than your fair share. We're having. We're having the bacon man it, today. It's winter time. Time to pay for that bacon. Do you fatten one of them up deliberately? Yeah, that's what you have to do. You're just you're just keep... like, hey, we're waiting for when we go to slaughtering. <laughs> and the worst part is, after the first one or two, the rest of the group is going to be like... Find a freaking Walmart and you're good. No, there's no Walmart, Pete. It's all done. <coughs> it's it's the end of the world. Everything is, everything is fucked at this point. So you got to keep one guy fat. In your group, right? You I mean, keep... I don't know if you have to keep him fat. You got to keep him healthy, though. Healthy, but you want nice marble meat. Yeah, I mean, I it, I think if it's that kind of situation, <laughs> you're not going to be worried about the marbling of your meat. You're going to be like, I just need to eat this motherfucker. Yeah, no, but but okay, but you want to keep because one, you, the reason the reason you want to keep the fat guy fat, we're slow. Fat guys are slow. Yeah, Home Depot has hot dogs. They do. Yeah, For... P- Peter Chu says or Home Depot. Yes, he doesn't know. No, um, no, he does know because they have hot dogs there. The, you like know, you, this you, is the end of the world. If Chris, you're early enough, we're in at the, the day, point of eating humans. If you're okay? early enough, there's in the no day. more hot dogs left. Okay, <laughs> it's just fucking. You're down to eating humans for proteins in your fucking stew. So yeah, I look. Yeah, so you got to be fat like this, right? So you get nice and marbled meat. Well, you get the marbled meat and you get the bacon. You get the bacon. Yeah, and like you could live off meat for a little while, but so so you got to keep the fat guy. You got to keep him fat. The but problem you, you is you have to recognize that fat guy will become food. Well, yeah. The so problem you have is to detach. Yeah, yeah. I'm no longer Roger. I'm just guy A. Um, <laughs> the problem is though, after you slaughter, after you slaughter the first fat guy, and then you turn to the next fat guy, right? Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna stop eating because they're gonna be like, no, I saw what you did. To the guy you kept giving food to. Well, yeah, and at that point, that person's outlived their use. <laughs> they're dead. You're well, like, you're eventually, when you're gonna build, you, you can't really just you, keep you, killing you, you, and you salting can, you, them. You know, I was gonna say you salt and store it. People did that over entire winters. Dude, I, think, I think I feel a new game coming on. <laughs> like, 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 imagine a party game where you're trying to figure out who to eat and why. Oh my god! <laughs> Process of elimination. Last man standing. Last man standing wins. Oh my god! Oh my god! He uses fat uh, the, for the yeah, oil lamps. Yeah, dude, your dad's kind of mean. My dad's beast. Dad, you would survive. 
Yeah. Yeah, your dad would survive. He's like, fuck it. I'd use them for oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking... My lamps would stay lit. I would stay full. Oh, man. God, I can't believe we just had a 10-minute conversation on eating humans at the end of the world. I mean, you gotta I... do what you gotta do. But, like, at what point? Like, like... It... When do you go gathering? <laughs> What are do you, you, are you like, I'm gonna find some figs yeah. and berries. Yeah, are you like are you like 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 at what point do you realize that you're 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 no longer gonna starve, you're just gonna eat human? Like where does that line come in? I don't know. Like like okay. I th- I think once star- I think there's a, a point of desperation and you, you decide either I'm going to live or I'm gonna die. And if you don't eat, you're gonna die. If you're willing to do whatever it takes to survive, you're gonna start to you know detach from your relationship with people and start eating them i guess well uh, then at what point do you like so in the perfect like you you've got you've got you know tara and you got kids and whatnot yeah and like, like how do you keep that relationship bound at the end of the world i would just tell them to eat me just eat you yeah just be like eh, i'm done yeah anything for them but why like you do everything that you can to, to provide for them okay yeah um yeah. so you provide 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 and then if it's getting to a point to where like if i was on my deathbed or something we're in the apocalypse. I'd be like, fucking eat me. Well, that's on your deathbed. Well, like, you're still a productive member. Okay, so you got like Tara, you know, you got, you got, you got the kids, you got two the, or three the, other guys. We're, we're hunting, gathering, we're, and yeah. we're eating other people. It puts the lotion on the skin or else. That's right. It does what it's told. So you're going to build a murder pit? You're damn right. That's where I keep my food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're not planning. You're not planning. Yeah, but it's not first degree murder because society's broken down. Yeah, there's no society. There's so no it's, not, it's not murder. No, but nobody can yell. God, not as picture you. The first, like the first hint of zombie outbreak comes across. You're out in the Chris backyard, is digging a fucking hole, <laughs> digging a trench, and you start shoving people in. Bye, Dad. Thanks for tuning in. Oh my God, that would be funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not hanging out with you when the zombie apocalypse comes. Why? I like you. No, you're going to shove me in the fucking hole. We've discussed, I I we've discussed this marbled you. meat here. I don't like bacon, people bacon. You don't know that? I don't know that. You don't know that <laughs> at all. It might be tasty. I, I, yeah. Man. This is a... I don't want to eat know, We had a conversation... A we had a conversation before this this recording on how we're going to keep the show not dark and, and more what we... Well, we had tuned it to, and we were like, hey, we'll start by talking about role-playing games. And then, now we're eating people Well, and, and you know whose fault that is? It's because you were like, what's unleashed uh, well, about <laughs> And I was like, oh, man, sometimes you got to eat party members. <laughs> like, if you kill a guy, you might have to eat him, because food is pretty scarce. And that, Yeah, that's, God, our conversations this go is so one. weird. So, Courtney has a question. So, my initial... Oh, oh we just talked about that. It, it's, it's, uh... It's just, you know, Chris talking about role-playing games. No, Peter Chu, we lost listeners last week when we talked about bad stuff. This is just canon topic for the They court. were hilarious. Oh, my God. They were bad. They were uh, Some of the funniest episodes we've done, though. Yeah, maybe. It was two weeks ago. Maybe, now. maybe. Yeah, that's right. We were, yeah, we took last week off. Yeah. Oh, your computer no longer has AIDS. Yeah. That's important. I, uh, I became scientist on it. Did you? What did you end up doing? I pushed some buttons. <laughs> is that all you did i was like clicky clicky no um so i managed to get it to do it in the bios and stuff and i was oh, able okay. to clear things up from there but uh yeah i man it, it's sad how dependent what we do is on computers oh god damn it all right so now we gotta talk about this so 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 pete just pointed that if you kill a guy you have about three days before the <laughs> right. and then That's somebody it. else fucking starts okay. watching it so so now that leads to a question like we talked about salt <laughs> but you don't have salt at the end of the world how are you going to keep the human that you just killed fresh well that's why you got to be close to an ocean you you're can... not we're, we're in we're in we're in i'd be walking i'd be walking there i'd be like let's fucking hike biatch just walk <laughs> to the ocean <laughs> like so how do you keep how are you going to keep well, think the about it. You, would, fresh? You, would, you would have to be nomadic you would have yeah? to be nomadic okay. until you had a large enough group that you could really start to establish society well, could you like do like a jerky oh yeah like, 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 like... oh no for sure so uh there was actually i I watched a documentary one time about from their tears about a uh, plane crash, right? A lot uh, where they ate the people. Yes, they but ate they them. were frozen. But they used them as jerky. They would lay out strips of people meat. Yeah, on like on the, the, plane on the plane wing. Okay, and uh, it would dry out, and they were eating people jerky. So that's what. You, so so we're saying you make people jerky. Fifth Amendment doesn't exist there, Pete. No, no, she, they're having a conversation. Oh, they're t- actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're talking to each other. Um. So. So people jerky is where we're at. People like, jerky. Like, like that's the only way to keep the people meat fresh. Yeah, I mean that if you don't have salt or cold storage, 
Like if you live in, you know, well, up north, if you live in Canada, and you're it's, good. It's freezing all the time. You're yeah. like, fuck it, I'll just put them in the shed. Yeah. Well, that's one thing we didn't see in the in the TV show Walking Dead is they haven't talked about winter. They've never touched winter. Yeah. Which in the comics, winter is a huge part. You know what's funny is there's that Dead of Winter game. Yeah, the Dead of Winter game is really good. And um, I'm really excited to see more expansions come from that. I'm afraid... They're, they're, look, topics, don't worry. Like no, I, Stop I'm, I'm worrying excited, about the comments. I'm excited to read, about what, uh, to read what these guys have to say. Hi, Jennifer. Um, um, so, I don't know, like... Keeping a human body fresh enough to eat oh for an extended God. amount it, of time. Well, okay, time out. Any, what if you any, made a chili? Any meat that you were eating, you'd have to figure out how to keep it fresh. Well, like, like, do like a Wendy's chili because that's never really fresh to begin with. I think those are the hamburgers that they discard. From, from the day before. And they're yeah. like chopped that Ch- shit chopped up. Chopped the chili. Throw it in it. So it's human warm. chili and you just keep it warm. Just keep it warm. Like eventually, yeah, it'll, it'll spoil, but by then you should be good, right? You should... You, you'd probably have to keep adding water to it so it didn't cook down to nothing. Well, yeah, obviously. But yeah, I mean, you'd probably be all right. I, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. I, I, I think. <laughs> all right, so so guys, what we what we figured out tonight <laughs> is the official way to survive the zombie apocalypse when you have to eat human meat is make a human chili or jerky or jerky, both, both. There's you, there's no power, Pete. There's nothing you can do with the meat processing plant. You've got no power. You might have some diesel fuel that you found. Power generator. You, you're going to save that for more important shit like, you know, your truck or your your your, your fucking power... Fuck d- that truck. I got feet. No. Oh, yeah. Look, if you're going to make it to Washington or wherever you need Why to go... Why am I going to Washington? To find more people to eat. I'm not just... If you're going to eat anybody, it's going to be people society. in Washington. Yeah, I, I'm like, well, <laughs> where are those Washingtonians? Like, I'm go- like, 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 that's the first spot to go. Straight, straight there. Hey, remember when you voted against blah blah blah? Oh, see, no, I I would be, I'd be going to California because they're taking all the guns away there. Uh, you got to go where people can't defend themselves, and that's where you're eating them. Well, would you? Would uh, I would go to Colorado first? They got the weed. Thank God. So they're gonna be they're gonna be seasoned. They're gonna. Be, <laughs> you're gonna get high eating your people. Yeah. So Texas style human chili. That way, no, Pete's on Pete's on the ball. Pete's a little scary about this. Pete's uh, giving this some thought, that's for sure. All right, so here's what we need you guys to do out there in, in, in the wonderful land. Make sure you go to BeastEscapeRoom.com. Enter the promo code GEEKY. You're going to get 20% off your Beast Escape Room experience. That's one hour. One, one hour. One full fucking hour. Of trying to get out. If you don't, they kill you and eat you. Yeah, you get dead. You get dead. Do they have a kill you and eat you scenario? I don't know, but they should. Uh, they will after this. Yeah, Ronnie <laughs> Cobb, make that happen. Um, there's a cannibal make sure you guys check out entertainthegeeky.com there you'll find all our socials facebook not social security numbers no. social media stuff that's, so you can click that like comment means. subscribe uh you know give us some love send us some hate whatever it is you have for us we want it and then if you want to send us money you can do that via just just walking up and yeah hand walking up and handing us cash wallet. that's how we take that's how we take it and for that <laughs> we'll give you a high five a hug that's about it. Reach around. Whatever. 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 Rusty trombone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever it takes. Roger's feeling generous. Um, and March 25th. March 25th, the Battle Royale. Battle Royale. It's Age of Heroes 2 at Game Haven. So uh, make sure you fucking come out and f- play some fighting tournaments. It's going to be a good time. We're going to be there hanging out, telling jokes. We're live streaming. We're going to live stream... From age, the Age of Heroes 2. Yeah, and we're going to shit talk so And so, so hard. much, because we know all about the fighting games. You name a fighting game, we know everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. So This that is be, a lie. But no, yeah. It's not a lie, it's true. It's, it's not true. a lie if you believe it. it That's right. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in. Stay geeky. Bye!